Well, something a little different this week. Not quite LED, but um, I just thought I'd record it and record this and see what, how it goes and um, see if I can fix some, something which, which makes a change. This is a Sony DVD player. Uh, it's actually the mother-in-law's um, and it's gone faulty. Now, I have, I must admit, I have already opened this up once um, to do some preliminary checks. Uh, so I thought I'd better just uh, show you uh, my findings and uh, see if I can fix it. Um, this isn't going to be a fix-it channel. There's plenty of other channels on YouTube that does that. Uh, this is just a, a one-off to uh, see how it goes. So to open it up, we've got to pop these little tabs off here. And then... The whole thing sort of slides off. Like so. Now the problem with this DVD player is that it is dead. There's no power getting to it whatsoever. So we need to do our basic checks. I've already checked the fuse. The fuse is okay, so that's fine. So let us... So I've plugged it in. And we're going to do uh, some checks. So we're going to see if we've got power coming through first of all. So um, we're going to go to AC volts. First of all, we're going to check to see if we've got power coming through. I hope you can see that all right. So we've got power coming through here. Yep, we've got 230 volts, 236 at the moment, so that's okay. Um, so this is the AC side of the circuit. This is the DC side, so let's change over to DC. And let's see if we're getting anything across the capacitor here. Yeah, we've got three, 325. Let's just turn those around. So that's okay. So we know we're getting power partially through the circuit. So I've just turned it off. So what I want to do now, just to show you that I've turned it off. So there we go. You can see the discharging of the capacitor. Dum, 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 dum. So what I want to do now is just check what anything else that we can check on the board. And the only other thing really we can check um, is the two diodes. Um, there is a fuse which is here, uh, but because we've got power going through to this capacitor, we know that the fuse is okay. So I'm going to do a continuity test. And remember on a diode, it should only allow power to travel one way. So no power that way let's turn the leads around and we've got um some yeah so see it is allowing power to go through one way but not the other way so that's okay let's have a look at this one so we've got immediately got a continuity there turn it around and we've got continuity that way. So this is what I've found, that this diode is blown because it's allowing electricity to flow both ways. So we're going to replace that diode. So to replace a diode, we need to take the board out. Um, so I'll do that. couple of screws okay so let's put that to one side 
Right. So the diode then is going across these two pads here. Diode is going across those two pads there. So let's get our new toy, which is a a desoldering pump. I bought this last week and not a chance to try it so as you press that it's supposed to suck the solder through a vacuum so let's give it a try let's give it a blast see if it works <laughs> Quite as good as I thought it would be. Hmm, doesn't seem to be um, sucking that well. Okay, well, I think uh, I need to do uh, learn that a little bit more. So We'll go back to the old fashioned way. And for that I've got this nice desoldering pump here. This is uh, quite a nice desoldering pump. It's got a um, like a silicon flexible end on it, which uh, is, is quite helpful when uh, you're trying to push, push against uh, the circuit board to get a good seal. So let's just make sure it's cleaned out because I did use it the other day. Right, okay, so that's nice and clean. Right, okay, so let's see if we can just warm up this solder and just see if we can get it clear these holes a little bit more. Let's actually pop the leg out there, so that's okay. Oh, and there we go, it's popped out. So we'll just clean up those holes. So this is our faulty diode and it is a SB3100 is what it is. So let me have a quick look in my stock, see if I've got one. Yep, I have one in stock, it is the only one I've got. SR3100. So we need to put that in back on the circuit board. Quite chunky these legs. Okay, there we go. Let's give it a bit of solder.
Okay, there we go, that's got that done. Now we can try um, the power on this before it goes back on the board because the connection here is actually written on the board just there. It's a bit difficult to show on camera, but you've got 12 volts and you've got ground as well. So we can do a quick test on that now. Right, we can just check to see if we've got 12 volts uh, because the um, power connection here, which goes to the circuit board, uh, is actually it's got three pins of 12 volt and three pins of ground. So we can just quickly test that to make sure that we've got 12 volts coming out and you have to be very careful because this board is live we've got live mains voltage going through it okay so there we go you've got 12 volts coming through so we now know that that fix is working so hopefully that should now work in the main player itself right so i've turned the power off so let's get this back inside the box There we go, plug that back in. Right, let's see if it now works. What you should see on the front is a, a power light. And there we go, one power light. So uh, the next thing to do is to plug it into telly to make sure it works. There we go, that's the power light. It, what happens is when it switches on initially, it does a self test and then the power goes off and then you press the power switch and uh, it comes on itself. So that's okay, so that's working fine. Um, so I think what we'll do now is plug it into a monitor or a TV to check to make sure it's working but I think that is a fix right last thing we'll do is just pop the cover back on again I'm not sure all those clips are in place there we go and that's it fixed and working so I say you just got to plug it into a telly but I think that'd be okay. So that was it, a faulty diode. Right, I've got it hooked up to uh, my monitor now, which is here, so that's on that monitor there. Uh, so we'll press the button, see if it works. So we've got the power light come on. There we go. So we've got the logo, which is good. And in a second or two, we should get the menu up. There we go, that's the menu. Okay, let's just double check. Uh, so we've got the eject button there as well. So yeah, that looks like everything's working. So there we go, a success. So I say, something a little different this week. Um, just a little fix on that. Um, hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you like my channel and like things I do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.